can see it is a beautiful greenhouse of Gerbera. Gerbera, it is a wonderful plant uh, and they are beautiful cut flowers. Here you can see different varieties. Terra Calina, that is red in color. Breakdowns, we have Livia, that is yellow in color. Basic, that is pink in color. So here I would like to mention that right from planting to harvesting, it has been managed by our students under this program. So I would now tell my students to explain regarding the management practices right from uh, planting. So Hanil will tell about planting. Tissue culture plants are first uh, uh, dipped in fungicide and then they are planted. At planting time, we have to take care that the soil does not cover the uh, crown root because crown because it can cause crown root disease. After planting, we have to regular spray 1999-19 uh, and then uh, if any insect comes or any uh, fungus attack is there, then we have to control it by using pesticides. Uh, soon after planting, we don't go for flowering. Uh, even if birds are coming up, we just keep on disbudding them for uh, at least three months we go for disbudding so that plant is healthy. You can see here plants, the leaves are so shining in color and green in color, dark green in color. So. Near about three to four months, uh, we don't take any flower. We don't go allow plants to go into reproductive stage. And this is how you can see the quality flowers we are having now. Even uh, fertigation technique also students learn very well, micro as well as major uh, nutrients. All these Gerbera plants have been raised and been managed by the students of experiential learning program, which you are seeing. These plants are around five months old over here. Uh, regarding the harvest indices, I'll tell you. So here you can see this Gerbera, it is from Composite family. Its uh, harvest stage is a little bit uh, typical since it is having ray florets and disc florets. In the disc floret, when two or three walls have been opened and the ray florets are perpendicular to the stalk, that is the right time of harvesting. Uh, the stem of this Gerbera, it is hollow. So when you harvest it, Care has to be taken that no cutter or knife is being used for harvesting it. It is just snatched like oh, a student will show you. Yeah, here you can see when harvesting is done like this, uh, it's not polo and hence there won't be any insect infestation with this. Now I will discuss regarding pest management in Gerbera crop. A uh, major two pests of Gerbera in greenhouse is uh, thrips and mites. Uh, thrips is normally uh, normally observed during monsoon and uh, summer during high uh, humidity, and mite is observed. Mites are observed uh, observed during winter season when there is a low uh, humidity and low temperature. Thrips feed on a uh, flowers and mites feed on a uh, uh, mites feed underneath of a leaf. And they cause deformation as they are sucking pests, they form deformation of leaf and flower. To regulate thrips, we use some systemic, uh, systemic in insecticides like uh, acetamapride and uh, acifet and uh, uh, imidacloripid, while for uh, uh, mites, we are using abamectin. And to avoid infection, uh, infection of thrips and mites, we use botanical extract of garlic and chili. Regarding physiological disorders in Gerbera, one physiological disorder which is very common is called pre-harvest stem break. You see in Gerbera the stem is hollow and because of that if any extra pressure is there on the stem it breaks off. This could be genetic uh, factor or it could be when temperature fluctuation is there, uh, uh, high temperature is there and watering that is irrigation is done during the afternoon hours when temperature is high. So that causes uh, high tiger pressure and because of that the stem breaks from the from the center and flowers become unusable uh, so that care has to be taken that when temperature fluctuation is there or high temperature is there irrigation should be done in the morning or evening hours only and the physiological disorder is unevenness in the flower structure uh, this happens 
Sometimes it happens due to thrips, sucking pest, thrips or mites. And when uh, during the bird stage, such infestation is there. Uh, it causes few ray florets damage. And because of that, they don't open properly. Here you won't find it. Another physiological disorder is doubleness in a flower or unevenness in the opening. Uh, this you can see in one flower. This happens when light intensity is not proper or uh, light intensity is low. So this happens uh, in some plants which are at the edge of the greenhouse like this one. Some shade factor is more towards the edge. So that causes such kind of condition. So we have to see that uh, such conditions don't arise in our greenhouse. It should be equally distributed. Yeah, Another important physiological disorder which is seen in Gerbera is cape band. In scape bend, what happens that flower head, because it's heavy and the stem is hollow, sometimes it bends. And the reason could be low light intensity or low carbohydrate. That is when nutrition management is improper, that is potassium and calcium is less or nitrogen is very high, that causes such kind of disorder. So care has to be taken that you properly do the nutrition management and get good quality flowers like in this greenhouse. And you see this yellow sticky trap we have introduced at different places. Some of the insects, like white fly, they just stick on this uh, on this yellow sticky trap, and you can just save your plants from such kind of infestation. Now, this is our Jalbera greenhouse. Uh, what we have done is we have reduced our production to around 10 percent. Uh, since market is very low due to COVID-19 crisis, and this practice we generally do whenever the market is low. So this way we can preserve our plants. We can have more of vegetative phase. And still you can see some of the flowers. These flowers we will harvest and go for uh, dry them. We will be drying these flowers and petals and we will be making some articles out of them. So after two months or so when the market will be good, we will be having good quality flowers and we will be having high production. So this, uh, this is our advice to other growers also.